Hello, my YouTube world. This is Johnny Moe coming to you today with a product review of the Milwaukee Fuel Hedge Trimmer. Can it hold up? Is the battery life good? Can it compare to a gas trimmer? Can it? You can see that I've been using it. You can see these are very dirty. I've made over $1,000 with this. I can tell you for from experience that... I trim between 38 and 40 different properties a year using hedge trimmers. I've been doing this for 23 years. When we were doing crews, I was up to 60 to 70 different properties and mainly using steel and echo equipment. Uh, mainly echo throughout the years. I think it was the PB252 or the 251s or the 151 and the 152 maybe back they might have changed it now but I think it was 151 and then went to 152 and I've always been curious can the Milwaukee's or not even Milwaukee's can the battery operated keep up and, and that's the question I'm going to answer for you today can it keep up can it make you money the answer is yes it can make you money is this a commercial grade trimmer? This is from a commercial guy. This isn't from a guy who trims trims out a house every now and then. I trim between 38 and 40 properties this year. This has made me over a thousand dollars in the last couple weeks so far. So the nine amp out battery, I have one, two, three, nine amps and one twelve. This is a kit that I carry with me and I take out of my truck every night. I have a charger. I have a 300 watt power inverter. And I have all these batteries. Honestly, I really thought I was going to have to charge batteries and do all kinds of crazy stuff. But in one two hour trimming, I have yet to dispel a battery. The only way I dispel a battery is the next day I'll put it back on with two bars or even three bars and then I'll let it go down to one. I've never dispelled a battery. When it gets down to one, I have noticed there's a little bit of a power decrease. Maybe it's really low on one, but I've noticed that once I pop another one on, it seems like they're, they're spinning really, really good again. That's the only thing I've noticed. I've never dispelled a battery. Um, then I take this out and I leave it in the truck. So what happens is at the end of the day when I'm coming in, I just put it on this charger right here and the next morning I'll throw it back in the bag and away we go. So as far as battery life, unbelievable. The, the nine is plenty. I have not been able to dispel them. I use this on my quick lock. Extended hedge trimmers. I also got a pull saw with that and I've yet to use the pull saw. I can say this though, I have been able to dispel this 5 amp hour battery with this blower rather quickly to be honest with you. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about can you make money with this hedge trimmer set? As you can see, it's definitely been used. It's dirty. I've got some steel spray on it. And you can see that I've used it quite a bit. Like I said, I've made over $1,000 trimming with this pair of hedge trimmers. I'm going to give you my official ruling, my likes, my dislikes. Let's go with my likes. It's comfortable. It's not the lightest. I, my HS56 steels are lighter than this. But it feels comfortable. It's ergonomical. Um, I've had no issues. I can prune with it with one hand. I do like that about it. Now, is this a professional grade? Eh... It's pretty close. They're getting better. I think, now listen, if Milwaukee's listening, and again, I want to I want to say that they have not given me this equipment. I spent money on this. Um, it's my money, and I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. What Milwaukee needed to do was to make these double-sided. See over here, you have the top one, and then over here, you have the bottom one. This needs another row right here. And then the bottom needs another row on the other side. They should have made that double reciprocating. And this, this just like their quick lock system. Their quick lock system is excellent. It's double sided and it cuts really well. This here 
what I've what I've noticed with this is you have to let this do the trick. You are not going to fly through a shrub with this. You got to let the motor do its thing, and it's going to take you a little bit longer. This is comparable to an H. S45, HC45, maybe an HS56. HS56 has a little bit more, it's double reciprocating, has blades on both sides and top and bottom. And it's it's a bit it's a bit more, it's a bit quicker. But I have to say that this did a very good job. You just have to let it do its thing. You can't just wing it through and uh, grind it and let it do just let it cut and go. I think that for me, this is definitely going to take the place of my trimmers in my in my trailer. I'm going to get rid of the HS56s because there's not enough difference between the 56 and this to even consider it. The 56 has let me down a couple times this year, meaning I've had to get a carburetor put on it. I've had to get you know mess with it, and and I don't like that. I like that I could take this out of the trailer and go trim. But the shrubs that I've noticed that this has the most trouble with are boxwood gems, emerald gems, meaning it, it, you got to go over it a couple times. You know what I mean? It's, it's not like a one-time prune. And if you are into pruning, I mean, if you are a pruning company that you go into your trailer every single day and you use trimmers, this is not the trimmer for you. I can't believe you're saying that. I can say that because Milwaukee did not give these to me. I can tell you that if you're a once or twice a week trimmer, these are perfect. You're going to save money. The batteries are phenomenal. Look at this right here. Right here. This is a, a kit, FS94. This is for my 94Rs. This is a kit for my uh, thing. In fact, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I should have one here for my... Uh, HS56 is too. But look at this. I got to put the new fuel filter in, a new spark plug, and a new thing. A new uh, air filter. So I spent money on that. I have two weed, weed, weed eaters that need to be done. And I just bought a 56C um, kit too. Which I don't know where that's at right now. That's a little weird. It should have been right there. But that costs money. Every year you have to do that. Change the fuel filter, change the air filter, change the thing. These you don't have to do that with. You're saving money. I don't know how long these batteries will last, but I'm assuming a pretty pretty good long time. And these actually last longer than fuel. My 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 HS fifty sixes or HC, I would have had to change my fuel out. I would have had to stop what I was doing, go fuel up. I did not have to do that with these. These are excellent. For the guy who, homeowner definitely, but the guy who's only trimming a few times a week, you know, doing a couple properties a week, this is it. But if you have to go into your trailer every day, I don't believe this is going to think this is going to get you through. The best trimmers for like the fine needle stuff, like the like the emeralds and the and the gold threads and, and the different. Uh, fine needle stuff that 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 this this will do it but you have to keep going over it you're always missing something like when you trim it you shape it like oh man that doesn't look right and it, it you know but it did the job it did the job and it goes through it and it will do it it just takes longer if you were that guy if you were that guy that trims every day the best pair of hedge trimmers you can get right now are the 82 t's 24 inch bar by steel Again, that's gas powered, but I'm just telling you from, from experience that the 82 T's are going over 5,000 per minute, and that's that's where you're getting the speed. That's where you're getting that one time slicing like butter. But back to this Milwaukee fuel, guys. This is what's going to be in my trailer from now on. I'm actually going to buy another one of these this week, and then I'm also buying another one of these. And I'm going to replace the uh, my steel BG86s in my trailer. This is what's going to be in my trailer from now on. This and this. It's come that far to where it's worth it for me. 
Don't have to worry about startup. Don't have to worry about fuel. Um, right there, that Moda mix. That Moda mix, I believe, was like 35 bucks for a one gallon. I think that's one gallon Moda mix up there. And I, I use that because uh, if the trimmers are going to sit for a long time, I'm going to need to have better gas in them. And around here, we don't have ethanol free. We only have ethanol free 87, not 91 or 92. So I, I buy that, and if I'm not going to be trimming for a while, I'll put that in as my last fuel instead of dumping it out and starting over again. It, you're just wasting fuel. This is going to save me money. So my opinion on these, Milwaukee, I think you need to make these double reciprocating, blades on both sides and bottoms. The, these are awesome. These batteries are phenomenal. A great job. I can handle these with one hand easily. I can cut. The thing that I found with them is you got to let these do the trimming. You can't just go in there and start swinging away. It's not going to get it. But if you'll just let this work and do the job, I can tell you that the 82T will trim two to one to this. The 56, eh, it's okay. It, I don't, it's, I don't know. It's comparable to a 56. I think the 56 is just a little bit better than this. The HS45 steels are, are definitely – this. that's definitely a comparison for sure. The 56s, eh. If, if you're a serious trimmer, you know, you're going to be up there with the 82T if you're a serious trimmer. But for me, these are definitely going to be in my trailer. The Milwaukee fuel has changed my mind. So that's going to be my time here. I really, really do like it. I really do like them. Uh, they're perfect for me. I'm not trimming properties every single day anymore. I trim probably a couple hours in the morning, three days a week, and that's about it. And these are perfect. They'll come out. Um, I will have to probably sharpen these. These are still very, very sharp. I mean, they're very sharp. And like I said, they've already made me $1,000. These these today, in the last week, has made me $1,000 just using this. And I've only dispelled two batteries doing that. Meaning it took me two days to dispel one battery. And then I used this until it was dispelled. While that was doing, I was charging this. Uh, this, this, I'm going to be using this more for my blower, I think, because it, this blower does discharge this pretty good. See, I'm, um, I'm already on three and I just used it right around my shop. No big deal. Just blowing the floor and stuff. So very happy with that. That will replace my BG 56. Uh, we'll do a review on that at some point. I just like it. Um, I have any questions, put them down there in the, in the site. Again, do I think these are the absolute best trimmers ever created? No. Do I think that they compare with some of the lower lines like Echo, 151, 152, HS45, HS56? They are very comparable. If that's what you're using, I think that you can switch out and save yourself some money. You can save yourself some fuel filters. You can save yourself some on fuel. And I don't think you're going to be that far off. But if you're a serious pruner, these do not compare to the the 82 T steels, not even in the same realm. I mean, I can trim with 82 T's. I can trim two to one to this, especially when it comes to those emerald greens. And it, it's not even close. The, the 82 T's, zip zip, you're done. This you have to let it go, shape them, and and it 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 does do it. It's just not. It's just not going to be as fast. And but I am impressed with them. Very impressed. Milwaukee's did a great job. Battery life is phenomenal. And that's about it, guys. That's about it. I really like it. Another thing I noticed, I took this back plate off. It looks like to me that they used white lithium grease in there. I'm not sure about that. I'm going to have to look to see how I can get that out of there and put some really proper grease in there. But that's my time, guys. That's everything that I, I know about these trimmers. And again... They have not paid me to say this, but I am very impressed with them, and they will be my go-to trimmers.